I was about to say, like, wow, we have a shit ton of uh, of emails, but no, this is all just stuff that I've already looked at. Actually, it's not. It is actually a shit ton of emails. <sighs> Welcome, package technology, technologically advanced listening device created by Janus. Oh, it's 3D too. It doesn't look like it's 3D. Like it could have been. Like this could have seriously just been a, um, you know, like a picture. Uh, emails. Okay, this is this, this is all stuff that we've already we've already seen. Another package. Is anything in here? No. Durable pot pot plant. Mm, it's fine. Uh huh. Anything uh, up here? I can sneak out if I really wanted to. I, I don't. I don't really want to. Can I use the computer? No. Can I do anything else? Can I open my blinds? No. Yes, I can. Open blinds. Good morning, Adam. You have one new message. From? David Sarif. Hmm. Play it. Adam, it's David. I know it's been a while, but uh, after what happened in Prague yesterday, look, son, whatever reasons you've had for not getting in touch with not David Sarah. Years, well, life's too short. I'm leaving for London soon, but uh, give me a call. You saved his vid call number? Yes, Adam. Just activate your TV system. Ooh, I have TV. That didn't sound like David Sarah from the first game. Just saying. Robo file box. Anything else that I can look at? No. Okay. Oh, this whole place is my is my place. Okay. Pain killers. Yeah, I'm, I have a feeling. Um, Healing myself is going to be a thing that I'm going to want to do more in this game than in the last game. Take a shower. Not really, uh, like even, I feel like even if he's naked, he, there wouldn't really be any nudity. It's pretty much just his chest. His torso and his head is like mostly original. Everything else is just gone. Replaced. They did, I think that was one of the things uh, uh, in the first game is that like they, they probably replaced like a lot more than they, than they actually needed to. Dear Adam, how are you doing? I wish you were here. Miss you from our excess Copon? Capon? Who is that? Interpol case file, Juggernaut Collective. Originated in the early 2020s when a hacker named Eli posted a badly written call to arms type message on the darknet. Filled with misspellings and grammatical errors, it invited those disillusioned with the stranglehold one percenters have on our world to join him in attacking, exposing, and spoiling their plots. The group first made headlines in 2025 by hijacking an atmospheric processor used by a popular weather artist in Paris and sending hurricane force winds to decimate a page industry sponsored events. Around the same time, Eli was replaced by online by a nom de plume, Janus. Janus? Janus. Efforts to ascertain the real world identity of either hacker have thus far proven unsuccessful. Under Janus's leadership, the collective have become increasingly effective at bankrupting Fortune 500 companies 
exposing governmental misdeeds and, in general, making life difficult for the extremely wealthy. Particularly worrisome to counterterrorism agencies around the world is growing evidence that the Collective have been recruiting a number of experienced agents, often with black ops expertise to assist them. I wonder, I wonder who, uh, who they might have gotten to, uh, to join them. I wonder, I wonder who. Alright, so I can use my TV, which I might do, but let me, let me wait. Wait, look around a little more. Can I have some breakfast? In Terror Firma, Task Force 29, the secret fight against global terrorism. On 21st of March 2028, a chain of coordinated bomb attacks exploded in unsuspecting cities and communities around the world. In that terrifying six-hour period, up to 50 low-tech but horribly effective devices destroyed lives and terrorized humanity one after another. Too much too late, it was a tragic region the world finally heated. Highlighted by a press already gorging on stories of bloody terrorism, the lack of communication and cooperation between international intelligence gathering organizations were cited as the primary reasons for the March bombings going unprevented. Normally bound and gagged with political red tape, world leaders reached across political fences as international demand for a unified and collaborative solution aligned across the globe. In the weeks following, UN mediators urgently proposed an international cooperative force with the power to act effectively across borders. Built upon the base of the existing G18, the effort quickly expanded with 11 more willing political participants and Task Force 29 was born. So is that what, is that the... I got an upgrade. Is that the, uh... Man. Uh, group that, that Adam is, is in? Like that. Any more? Hell yeah. What is this? Crafting parts. More wine. Beers. Red chip? Sure, I'll take that. Anything else I can look at? Can I look? Like I can't, I can't actually open my refrigerator. I can only just lift it up. Interesting wall. Anything else to look at? I'm not going to leave yet. Yes. Uh, all right, we'll call Seraph. Adam, thanks for calling me back, son. Seraph. I heard about the bombing in Prague. It's all over the news. Did anyone you know get hurt? You know me. I tend to keep to myself. I'm surprised you even know I'm here. Interpol called me when you applied for the job. Their extensive background checks. I gave you a glowing recommendation. He doesn't have that uh, Michigan accent anymore. What do you want? What do I want? Jeez, Adam. I know I did some questionable things in the past, but a lot's happened in the last two years to both of us. Uh. Yeah, we'll do this one. You've obviously landed on your feet, though. Unlike a lot of other people. I've been lucky. I almost died in Panchea waiting for the rescue teams to dig me out. And I lost a lot of time after recovering from my injuries. You went back to Detroit, you saw what happened to Seraph Industries. I gotta look at it, briefly. Humanity was afraid of the potential we offered, and they lashed out. Broke into the building, stole what they could, and burned the rest. Those vultures that tie young medical gobbled up what was left. Sometimes a dream has to die so a new one can rise from the ashes. Hmm. You heard anything from Megan? <sighs> After all we went through, I thought she'd stand by me. Still, you know, she always wanted to be at the cutting edge. She didn't see a future for herself in Detroit, so she went to Versa Life. Really? She moved to Hong Kong? San Francisco. They've got an offshore research facility there named Rokaseka Beach. I'm sure you've seen it in the news. California, huh? I wonder if she's told her mother. You want my advice, son? Write her out of your life. Because I'm damn sure she's written us out of hers. You talked to Pritchard lately? 
Frank. <laughs> Out of all of us, I think he's the one who's changed the least. Jensen? He'd probably tell you there wasn't anything about him that needed changing. I'm sure he would. But when the world transforms itself the way ours has, people need to adapt or get left behind. Frank's freelance now, but he's still in computer security, still in Detroit. I don't know if he'll ever leave. Why is he still in Detroit? Your message said you were going to London. Casual trip, or is this tied to the new dream? I'm uh, meeting with the Santo group, Nathaniel Brown and his investors. Santo? They built the Udalek complex, the Og Ghetto, here in Prague. Why are you meeting with them? Brown's got big plans. He wants to focus on real solutions, ideas that look to the future. Y you've heard of the Safe Harbor Initiative? I've heard of Rabia, the walled city he and his company are building in the desert for Augs. Rabia's just a part of it. We're talking about self-sustaining, energy-efficient arcologies that can be replicated anywhere on Earth. Cities built by the Augmented for the Augmented. Where the dream of self-controlled human evolution lives on. It may not seem like it right now, son, but one day, people will move on from the incident. And when that happens, we'll be ready for it. I'm glad we caught up, Adam. I've always tried to look out for you, you know. That bombing yesterday. You didn't call to talk about the bombing. Just ask. It's nothing, really. I, I just need a signature so I can finish filing the bankruptcy paperwork. You need my signature? Yeah, apparently there was some kind of bureaucratic mix-up caused by you being declared legally dead for a year. <laughs> the apartment in Detroit was leased in your name, even though we paid for it. Fine. Send me the paperwork. Thanks, Adam. I appreciate it, really. Goodbye, Seraph. You need to remind me that I have a thousand dollars in my wallet. May can, can I watch TV? I can watch TV. I mean, you know, this is our morning routine. We get some coffee. We'll watch some TV. Did she give me a uh, a wink when she said reporting live because we know that she's a computer? She did it again. She did, she did it again. Construction, arcology, quality, excellence. Santo, restoring the past. I saw hand. No doubt many viewers were horrified by that story I brought to you last week, in which a suicide gunman ruthlessly attacked a small augmented community near Dar es Salaam. Today, I'm here to bring you a glimmer of hope. European-based construction giant, the Santo Group, has successfully convinced the Tanzanian government to become a signatory of its Safe Harbor Initiative, designed to promote the creation of safe I mean, and secure housing. I mean, it does make sense that Seraph would want to be can live and work free from involved in that. This international civil engineering and action plan I mean, he, he built up his company on non-augmentations. Its flagship project, a glittering engineered city named Rabia, is slated to be publicly unveiled 
at one of Brown's upcoming safe harbor conventions. I, for one, cannot wait to learn more. This is Eliza Kassan, reporting to you live from Pikes. <laughs> Every single time. Every single time. Precision. All right, I think we can go. It's nice to have, see that uh, the watch advertisement for for Adam, but uh, I'm not I'm not terribly interested in them myself. I don't even wear a watch anymore. I have some. I have some like decent watches, but uh, nice. What's that? Multi tool. Is there a guide for the multi tool? Hack devices of any security rating. Just use them. And they're one use only. Okay. I mean, nothing against watches. I'm just, I, I find that, like, if I want to use, you know, if I want to see the time, I'll just pull out my phone, take a look at it. I'm not, I'm also not, I'm not one of those people who spends, like, every waking hour, like, outside of the house on their phone, either. You know, I'm not I'm not someone who's like constantly texting people and, and looking at stuff, but I do like having my phone. Hello, homeowner. From the menu, please select the type of setting you wish to change. Open close wall panel. As you wish. Oh my god. Opening wall panels. Hey! Uh, combat rifle, armor piercing ammo. Oops. Uh. No, no. Can I not? Resume. Hello? Can I not? I can't move. I can't move now. I, I literally, I can't, I can't, I can't do anything right now. I, I'm, I'm stuck. I'm stuck now. The game, the game has decided to, um, to bug out. <sighs> What's my latest autosave? Was it after? Please tell me it was after the call. Okay, it was. Watch TV again. We'll, we'll give him, we'll give him his, uh, His coffee again. So let's hear from Dr. Talis Rucker, Ark's charmingly eloquent leader himself. Yeah. I don't know if this does anything. Like, is it is it going to? But it wasn't all of humankind. Yeah, we're we're done. I was gonna say, is is it gonna like keep track of what I've seen, and then like things are gonna pop up later? I wouldn't think that that would be a thing. That would kind of be annoying to have to sit through all that again. I liked watching it the first in the first place, but like. Let's try this again, shall we? As you wish. I have auto saved. Tranquilizer rifle ammo. Sun gun ammo. Back. Nothing. Back. Armor piercing ammo or revolver armor. I don't want any of these though. Close that again. Out of sight, out of mind. Thank you. I'll keep you safe. Shutting doors, activating keypads. As you wish, but remember, Kona, this poses a substantial security risk. Miller. Peter Chang. Director Miller said you'll probably come in after a good night's sleep. Despite what just happened to you, I have no idea why you would want to do that. If it was me, TF-29 is the last place I'd want to go right now. Don't let the bunker atmosphere fool you. This place is a target. We're all targets. I'm not just being paranoid here, okay? You'll understand when we talk in person. P.S. Related to the above thing we need to talk about. I changed your office password. It's now the same... The name of the band on the t-shirt Aria wore that time I saw her. I swear I'm not trying to be cute or cryptic. I'm trying to be safe. P.S.S. Try running through your home smart system interface again. Let me know if you're still going getting that armory glitch. 
Latest firmware should have taken care of it. Last thing I want to do in your shoes is leave my apartment without bullets. Yeah, actually, I did get the uh, the glitch. I did, in fact, get the glitch. So, yes, I am. I did. From Errolson Hugh, acronym. Adam, thank you for your detailed specifications for the trench coat. As discussed, it will be completed within 10 business days and shipped express. Ooh, I wonder if I got it. Christian Jarreau. Hey, Jensen, sorry not to get back to you before this. Been buried in a sea of paperwork, and frankly, I'm surprised your task you're asking. Only met Miller once via the NSN. Seemed more than, more than competent. He was with the Technical Assault Group in Australia before the incident. Hell of a marksman, so they say. Don't know how he ended up overseeing the Central European office, but then I don't understand how you ended up there either. After Detroit, I figured a SWAT experience and my recommendation would get you in the door, but I thought headquarters would keep you in the States. Sure could use your insider's knowledge of VOG developers to get a handle on the black market suppliers we've been chasing down. I hate to say it, but they're giving us hell. Oh well, adapt and react, right? Anyway, not much more I can tell you about Miller. If you do put it for transfer, let me know first. Maybe I can pull some strings. Director of TF-29. North American Division. Well, I got this right now. Uh, anything else, uh, super secret? Secret squirrel, did I get this? Grab that. A little bit of, uh, like a lag whenever I kind of turn around. This is a very demanding game. I mean, that's... Very, um... Hardware demanding. Oh, look, here's my coat. Do I want to use my, my coat from, uh... The first one? This looks like the coat from the fir from the first one. Or maybe this is the coat from the first one. Okay. Miller, it's Jensen. It's good to finally hear from you, Agent. You doing okay? Sorry about the downtime. I'll get to the office as soon as I can, but my augs took a hit during the attack. I need to get them looked at. Of course. There's a lot of work ahead of us, Jensen. I'll see you when you get in. Uh, I'm gonna lock the doors. <laughs> Dr. Kohler, I need to pay you a visit. Jensen! Now's actually a really good time for me, like right now! Something wrong? There are some guys in my bookshop. Pissed off the valley gangster looking guys. So, unless you want bloodshed the day after a terror attack. The front door isn't the most peaceful option. Fine. I got it. This looks like it says it's also unlocked, but you know what? It's fine. It's probably fine. Probably fine. Proč mě musíte otravovat? Nemám čas. Fine then. Be busy. Can I get into your house then? Probably could. Uh, but not with you there. So we'll just go. Interesting look. Thanks, man. I mean, I could. Uh, I also don't like that I can't, like, uh, you know, zoom around. Um, here, 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 here. It's a big one. Oh, I can zoom around a little bit. Anomaly detected. Uh, Trace program initiated. Access granted. Hello? Is anyone here? They have a cat, I think. Painkillers. They definitely have a cat. <laughs> they got like a little mouse thing hanging there. Got 
beers. Nothing in there. In the northwestern United States, a group of non-augmented citizens Nothing in there. There's no real reason for me to be in here. I'm just exploring around. You know me. Neuropazine. I'm not going to steal someone's Neuropazine. Hopefully that's not going to be bad for me. Like, I'll steal their painkillers. But Neuropazine they actually probably need. Like, they literally need it to live, so I'm not going to steal those. 